Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. Also, please subscribe to the channel for more labs like this. In this lab, we will practice some basic IPv6 configurations, including IPv6 address configuration, slack or stateless address auto configuration, and IPv6 static routing. Let's get right into it. The first step is to enable IPv6 on the routers and configure some IPv6 addresses. I'll go on R1 first. Enable, conf t, IPv6 is not enabled by default. To enable it, use this command, IPv6 unicast routing. Now let's configure the addresses according to the network diagram. Interface G00. IPv6 address 2001 DB8 123 123 double colon 1 slash 64. Also, let's enable the interface. No shut. Interface G01. IPv6 address 2001 DB8 1 1 double colon one slash 64. No shut. Exit. Okay, let's check. Do show IPv6 interface brief. There are the addresses we configured, but what are these other addresses? They're link local addresses, and they're automatically generated on IPv6 interfaces. These addresses are never routed. They only work on the local link. Link local addresses are in the FE80 slash 10 range. Okay, that's it for R1. Next, let's go on R2. Enable, conf t. On R2, we will only configure the G01 interface for now, as in the next step, we will use Slack to configure the address for the G00 interface. Interface G01, IPv6 address 2001, db8, 2, 2, double colon 1, slash 64. No shutdown. Okay, let's go on R3 and do the same. Enable, conf t, interface G01, IPv6 address, 2001, db8, 3, 3, double colon 1, slash 64. No shutdown. Okay, now in step two, we will use Slack, stateless address auto configuration, to automatically generate IBV6 addresses for R2 and R3's G00 interfaces. How does Slack work? To put it briefly, IPv6 uses NDP, or Neighbor Discovery Protocol, and as part of NDP, R1 is currently sending RA, or Router Advertisement Messages, on its G00 interface. When we configure Slack, R2 and R3 will receive these messages and use them to learn the network prefix, which is 2001 db8 123 123 slash 64 in this case. Uh, they will take that prefix and use a modified version of their own MAC address to generate the rest of the IP address. Hopefully you've learned this in your studies. If you're not familiar with it now, make sure you are for the test. Anyway, the configuration is simple. We are on R3 already, so let's do it here first. Interface G00, no shutdown. IPv6 address autoconfig, exit. Next, I'll go on R2. Interface G00, no shutdown. IPv6 address autoconfig, exit. These routers won't generate their addresses immediately, so I'll pause the video as we wait for the router advertisements from R1 to reach them. Okay, I'm on R2, and as you can see from the output of the show IPv6 interface brief command, R2 has generated an IPv6 address for its G00 interface. And on R3, you can see the same. Next, let's configure some IPv6 static routes. On each router, we'll have to configure two static routes, one for each of the other router's internal networks. 
Now, to configure an uh, next hop address of R2 and R3, we'll have to use their Slack addresses, which are not easy to remember. Uh, so to do so, I'll be copy and pasting their addresses. First, let me copy R2's G00 address. Okay, now I'll create the first route on R1 to R2's internal network. IPv6 route 2001 db8 2 2 double colon slash 64. Now let me paste in R2's address. There we go. Now, since I already have R2's G00 address copied, I'm going to configure the same route on R3. IPv6 route 2001 db8 2 2 double colon slash 64 and paste R2's address in. There we go. Now I'll copy R3's G00 interface address and make a route to its internal network on R1 and R2. There we go. Now I'll go on R1. IPv6 route 2001 db8 3 3 double colon slash 64 and paste in the address. There we go. Next on R2. IPv6 route 2001 db8 3 3 double colon slash 64 and once again paste in the address. Okay, now let's configure routes to R1's internal network on R2 and R3. Since I'm on R2 already, let's start here. IPv6 route 2001 db8 1 1 double colon slash 64 2001 db8 1 2 3 1 2 3 double colon 1. Okay, now on R3. IPv6 route 2001 db8 1 1 double colon slash 64 2001 db8 1 2 3 1 2 3 double colon 1 okay all of our routes are now configured for this video i won't ping from each router but let's just try out some pings from r3 to test uh, first i'll ping pc1's address exit ping 2001 db8 1 1 double colon 64 Okay, the ping works. And now I'll ping PC2. Ping 2001, DB8, 2, 2, double colon, 64. Again, the ping works. In this lab, we configured manual IPv6 addresses, Slack addressing, and IPv6 static routes. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave verified publisher and accept BAT or basic attention token donations in the Brave browser.